Um, Siddharth, uh, two questions. Firstly, there is a common perception among people who are seated in the back of the car. Is there, if there's an accident, there's a seat in front of me. It's a nice soft seat. And so nothing, it's like a pillow and I'll be fine. Nothing's going to happen to me, number one. Number two, it's a separate question, but answer both. Why are some car companies, con uh, I mean, creating problems or saying that they can't realistically afford to put in more airbags onto cars? All right. So the, the second question is a little more complicated. I'm going to quickly address the first one. Uh, yes, a lot of people think that when you're at the back, you're somehow more uh, cocooned in that environment as opposed to being in the front where there's a windshield in front of you or a steering wheel. Um, absolutely untrue. Because by the way, even if you are in the back and there is an impact like the one we've seen in the case of uh, this accident with the Mercedes GLC, uh, anybody who is not belted in a vehicle, wherever they may be sitting, essentially becomes a projectile and at the time of impact. Uh, you actually pose a danger, as you've seen in those uh, videos you're showing, where the, the dummy from the rear is sort of crashing into the Yeah, we're going to show that vehicle. video again. Let's play that video out again. Go ahead, Siddharth. Yeah. You, you're actually seeing a situation where potentially skull injuries to the person who is flying to the front and then neck injuries to the person who he is or she is flying into. Uh, so, you know, someone who wore their seatbelt, had an airbag, could still have a potentially fatal injury because somebody comes crashing into you. This is kinetic energy. It's simple physics. They are going to come crashing into you absolutely in proportion to the kind of speed the car was doing at the time of impact. So let's get it very clear that, you know, staying at the back and saying, I'll hold on to this or I'll grab the handle, nothing like that's going to save you at that point. It's only a seatbelt that will keep you firmly in place. So that's absolutely non-negotiable. Uh, when it comes to the airbags, you know, side or curtain airbags, as we've seen in this case, uh, they have a very specific role to play, Vishnu. And, you know, uh, there are some cars which even have a frontal airbag for a rear passenger, like an S-Class or a Rolls-Royce. You know, these are a very, very high-end cars. So let's not talk about those because those aren't your typical, you know, average cars, even in a global context. But the cars that do have a side impact protection or a side curtain airbag, the reason that's there is because in the case of a side impact, there are different lateral forces at play and you tend to sort of rock from side to side. That's the kind of injury you're going to sustain. You're going to hit some part of the side of your body or your skull. And that's what that airbag is designed to save. In the case of a frontal impact, the side airbag will only sort of, you know, maybe marginally protect you from, say, superficial or smaller injuries. You know, it's something that's going to add a slight cushioning effect in the case of what happens to you after you have sort of settled from that impact because you're belted up. But if you're not belted up, you're just going to fly in one direction and it's not towards the curtain airbag. So that's the whole point about uh, you know, the rear passengers. On the point about six airbags, look, it is a cost issue, but as we have proved, and you know, I, I think you know that I have been very vocal on this and we've been sort of campaigning on this on our show and on, on, on this channel as well for years. Um, when you talk about safety and you add awareness to it, people are willing to make the payment of that extra equipment. You know, this whole notion that people don't want to pay for this, um, it requires a lot of awareness. That said, if you make it standard, the only worry is that if you don't have seatbelt compliance, but you have six airbags, you're lulling people into thinking, oh, I paid extra for this car, it's now very safe. And then you don't actually do the things you're supposed to do as a car user. That's where the little gap lies in terms of saying, hey, adding six airbags and adding to the price of a vehicle is not simply going to do it. You still have to wear your seatbelt. So one last quick point I'm going to say is that like you have an audible or a visual uh, warning for yeah. not wearing your seatbelt in the front, you just need to have one for the rear and the middle passenger at the rear needs to have a three point seat belt. These are things we've been petitioning the transport minister for for some time now. Those are the things that need to start happening as well. And we need to ban products like you get on some of these online uh, retail sites where you have a little plug that can be put into a seat belt just to shut the ding off. Right. That's again something or a T-shirt with a with a seat belt printed across it. Those are the things we have to be careful about as well. It's It's got to be a concerted effort, Vishnu.